What's up guys? Welcome back to Homes on Wheels. Today we're at Smith Manufactured Housing in Troy, Alabama. We're going to be touring, touring, I can't talk today, this Southern Energy home called Southern Charm. This home has just been delivered. As a matter of fact, they haven't had time to clean it up. They didn't want me to film it, but you know what? I convinced them to let me in. There again, this front door does have windows that go from the bottom all the way to the top to let in a ton of natural light. And there again, this home was not set up. So if you see trash on the floor and stuff, that's because it was just put here. If you take a look when you walk in, you have a nice formal living room. So this would be where your living room is. And you say, man, this is a long galley style open floor plan. I can't wait to show y'all what's around the turn over there. This is just a little bit different than a lot of the homes that we filmed. If you look down, this home does sport vinyl flooring throughout that does look like hardwood the heating and air conditioning is in the ceiling of this home so this beam that you see is actually a separation point between the living room and what would be considered the dining room if you look over against the wall you're going to have two windows for the dining room two windows for the living room and that door that has the windows throughout so there is no lack of natural light Dining room's plenty big to put at least a six person kitchen table there. If you take a look right here though, you can see the kitchen and look over there's the den. And that's what I like. I'll show you all that in just a second. Nice big kitchen, plenty of cabinets everywhere. Lots of wall plugs all the way around. You have the marble style countertop. You have the stainless steel hood above the range there. These are Frigidaire appliances. You got a double door French door refrigerator, a single basin farm style kitchen sink here with a head that removes for easy access. The window does open above the sink, which is a huge deal for most. Let's turn around and take a look at the island. A lot of places to store stuff in the island. Sounds like I got an email. And over here is going to be your microwave built in. So just a little bit of a different angle. If we turn around and go just like this, you can see how open this floor plan actually is. So that formal dining room is nice over there. I probably wouldn't even put a TV over there. I may have a couple of chairs, maybe a good spot to read. I think the majority of my time would be spent in the den right over here because of that electric fireplace and those beautiful picturesque windows that are on either side of it. It really makes this home feel like a full-blown stick-built house the way that the layout is. So the fireplace is electric. Above it is a white mantle, and if, if you can't tell, it's already set up to put a TV right above it up there, guys. And I'm going to tell you all, I believe you are going to be completely shocked when I tell you all the price on this home. This is one of the better laid-out homes with a lot of room for a very, very nice price. Let's go ahead and walk on back here and take a look at the bedrooms. I'm curious to see how these bedrooms are laid out. So the master's gonna be over here. We're gonna save that for last. The first door we're gonna to come to right here though is gonna be your laundry room. So you're gonna have your heat and air return in here. And look, you've actually got a little workstation in this laundry room. So your washer, dryer, workstation, cabinets to the side of it and a rear exterior door. Or turn around, the opening behind the door right there is going to be for your hot water heater. Across from the laundry room is going to be your guest bathroom. That is a single piece shower unit, very large tub by the way. No window in here for natural light, but that's okay. Got a big single vanity and a nice size toilet. On the other side of that is your first guest bedroom. And this is a good size bedroom, guys. I'm actually shocked. I did not think it was gonna be this big based on how much room was in the living area of this home. Let's see how big the closet is. You do have a single window in here. And it is a walk-in closet. Can't beat that, guys. We'll turn around and walk across the hallway. To the second guest bedroom 
And this one's a little bit smaller. This may be a good office. Say you have one kid or maybe you're just a, a single couple. This would be a perfect spot for an office with another walk-in closet. This is a big walk-in closet. Heck yeah. Put anything you needed to in there. So we have saved the best for last and that's going to be the master bedroom. Let's go take a look at it. I'm gonna, man, I just can't wait to show you all the price. This is a good size bedroom, guys. Got plenty of room to put a king size bed in here. All the furniture and everything that goes along with it. It looks like the only thing that may take a hit in this home a little bit is the master closet for the amount of living space you have. So there again, your master closet is still big. Don't get me wrong. It's just not massive. And a lot of times I feel like those master closets are overkill. Y'all let me know in the comments below though, what's the perfect size master bedroom closet? For me, that right there would be plenty. That's just me though. You do have two big windows in here. And now let's head into the master bathroom, which is always a wow factor. Immediately you see a very large shower here. They don't have the glass up for the surroundings yet. You do have a bench built in. Your controls are to the side. You have a removable shower head as well as a rain shower head. One of the things I like about this bathroom immediately though is the sinks. They're not side by side, they're kind of in an L shape and it just gives a different feel to it. I feel like they really use the space in a smart manner. Got a nice little hole over there for a trash can. And I like these darker bronze style fixtures that they have going on in these homes nowadays. Here's your toilet over here and a huge soaker tub. That is a big tub, guys. I don't think I could pry my wife out of there if my life depended on it. <laughs> All right, let's go talk about price. What do y'all think? 200,000, 180,000, 160? I gotta tell y'all, it's cheaper than that. It's cheaper than that. I know it's hard to believe. If you're not subscribed to the channel and right now would be a perfect time to do it as we're making our way over here to talk about the price. We appreciate the support there. Again, we don't work for the dealers or the manufacturers. So what you see is just us kind of off the cuff walking through the homes. Look at that. 129 plus tax. It's a 28 by 60, 1680 square feet. Southern energy home guys. Wow. A lot of these homes are advertised now that they will even lower your power bills by 40 to 60%, which is absolutely insane. There again, guys, if you will, click right up here on this box and follow us to our next home tour.